Hi everybody! Today I'm going to teach you how to get started using Hoopla, which is a platform for ebooks, movies, TV shows, and music. The great thing about Hoopla is that there are no waiting lists, so if you want to start reading a book today, if you want to start watching a movie right now, all the titles that you see on Hoopla are available on demand. It's also a wonderful option if you want to do a digital book club with your friends because you can all read the same book at the same time. You don't have to worry about placing a book on hold with Libby or Overdrive. Ebooks check out for 21 days, music checks out for 7 days, and movies and TV check out for 72 hours. You can stream these items in your browser if you have access to internet or you can use the Hoopla app on smartphones or tablets, and that enables you to download titles. So for example, I can download an ebook to my smartphone with the Hoopla app, and then I can bring it with me on the go even when I don't have internet access. You can also cast to your smart television using Hoopla. So if you want to stream and then cast to a different device, that's an option as well. Hoopla is a service that's available through the Boston Public Library, and to get started with Hoopla, you'll need a BPL e-card. If you haven't signed up for an e-card through Boston Public Library, um, it has lots of great resources that you can access. Hoopla is only one of them. There's also a bunch of great databases and other streaming options. To get started with a BPL e-card, you either need to be a resident in Massachusetts, an employee in Massachusetts, or someone who owns property in Massachusetts. If any of these three apply to you, you can get started with an e-card today. You'll go to the Boston Public Library website, bpl.org. You'll go to services in the main menu, and then sign up for e-cards. Once you're on this page, you'll choose this teal button on the right-hand side, register or renew an e-card, and it will walk you through the process of getting an e-card. It's very simple. Once you do that, you can go to the Books and More section. Under Learning and Resources, where you'll find all the great databases and digitized collections. And then over here in the left column, you can go to Stream and Download, which is where you'll find Hoopla. Another great option is Canopy, which has um, streaming video, it has documentaries, and also the Great Courses series are on there as well. If you click on the Hoopla link, you will be brought to the Hoopla homepage, which is hoopladigital.com. You can click the Get Started Today button, and you'll enter your email and any password that you'd like. Once you hit Agree, you'll be prompted to enter your library, and you're going to enter Boston Public Library because we use Hoopla with a Boston Public Library e-card. Once you sign in with that e-card, you'll be redirected to the Hoopla homepage, which looks something like this. The way that Hoopla works is that you have a limited number of checkouts per month. So right now, as of April 2020, um, you get 12 checkouts through the Boston Public Library Hoopla. As you can see on the home page, it's telling me I have six more titles to borrow this month, so that means I've already used six of my checkouts. If you want to get started with browsing, you can go up to Browse in the top menu here and choose between movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television. Or you can also search in this main search bar at the top. Let's say we want to browse some ebooks. You can either search by category or you can browse what's in popular, featured, or recommended. In featured, right now it's going to show us different book covers, and if you want to, you can click on that cover to get more information, and you can use the blue button under the cover if you'd like to check it out. I really like browsing with categories because there's so many different genres and subjects and you can really kind of go wild to your heart's content. But if it is overwhelming for you, I might recommend Hoopla's Top Titles of All Time, or Best of 2019 is a great option. Um, there's even some book club recommendations if you do want to get started with a digital book club. And I will bring your attention to these bonus borrows sections. As of April 2020, Hoopla has added these bonus borrows, and any item in a bonus borrow section, 
that does not count towards your checkout limit for the month. So if I check out 101 more Amazing Brain Teasers, it's not going to subtract a checkout from my 12 checkouts for the month. So they do have a great homeschooling bonus borrows section for the kids. Um, there's also a number for adults. There's bonus borrows adult fiction, mysteries and thrillers, cooking and wellness. Um, there's a lot of great options for you. And one of my favorite features on Hoopla is this tagging feature. Each um, title is tagged with different subjects. Right now this book is categorized as literary, coming of age, and family. So if you're interested in more books like that, say you want to read more coming of age books, you can click on that tag and it will show you other books about coming of age. For example, My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante is very popular, uh, Commonwealth by Ann Patchett. There's a ton of great authors on uh, Hoopla, and there's also a lot of new releases. Um, so it's a, it's a mix of new releases and backlist. If there's a book that you've been waiting for on Overdrive or Libby, um, I suggest that you search for it in this top search bar because you never know. You might be able to jump the wait line and just access that book on Hoopla. I will show you one thing um, if you are going to borrow television with Hoopla. It's good to know that each episode counts as one of your checkouts. So you don't check out a season at a time, you check them out one show at a time. So if you are going to watch a TV show, um, it will rack up your checkouts pretty quickly. If you want to see the items that you have checked out at the moment, you'll go to My Hoopla up at the top and choose Currently Borrowed. As you can see, we have out some books, a TV show, even a music album. You can just click on each item and then scroll down to get to this blue button. Right now it's telling me resume because I've already started this book. Looks like we're in chapter 8 right now because it saves your spot. You can use the right arrows as if you're turning the pages of a book. And you can also use these menu features up on the top right. For example, you can change the text size if you need to make it bigger. You can change the backgrounds. For example, if the black is easier on your eyes. You can also change fonts, and there is a dyslexic option as well. You're just going to hit apply if you want to make these changes. And if we do X out, it will save our changes. There's also a search option with the magnifying glass up in the right hand corner. You can also um, move from chapter to chapter within the book. We can skip ahead if we'd like. And there is a bookmark option as well. So we'll X out using the X in the upper left hand corner or you can hit close right here. And this will bring us back to our checked out options. Uh, TV shows and movies are much the same. If I click this, it's just going to open up in my browser and start playing. Music, you can either play the whole album or you can pick each individual song that you'd like to stream in your browser. So there's a ton of great options on Hoopla. I encourage you to check around. Um, I have a lot of fun looking through all the different categories, as I mentioned. Uh, and there do happen to be bonus borrows in all the categories. So it's not just books. There's bonus borrows in movies um, and in music as well. And there's really something for everyone on here. Right now there's a bonus borrows greatest hits option. Um, lots of different awards, Grammy Award winners and nominees. You can kind of get lost in all the different categories, so it's really fun to check out if you want something to read or to watch or to listen to right away. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have fun experimenting with Hoopla. Have a good one.